Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're going to learn how to record and produce your band in Reaper. And this is part two of that series. So now we're going to start getting our microphones set up on the drums. Then we'll plug those microphones into our computer audio interface and get some nice drum sounds. We'll start with the kick drum. Now I'm not going to get that deep into discussing what microphones you should be using and exactly where to place them. That's a bit beyond the scope of this video. I just want to get you up and running and doing this in Reaper. And if you want to dig deeper into recording drums or anything else we cover, you can research that at some other point. So we have a kick drum mic here. I'm going to place it right up into the hole that I cut in the front head. I usually keep a pillow inside to keep the sound tighter and more controlled. We could use two mics for this and put one further in, another further out, but you could also get a very good sound with just one mic in the middle. And that's what we're going to do. Placing the mic right in line with the front head. Then we'll plug a microphone cable into that mic and plug it into our audio interface, assuming that your audio interface has mic preamps built in. Otherwise, we'll need external mic preamps. I believe we chose input 3 for our kick drum, so we'll plug the cable into there. Next, we'll set up the snare mic. It's kind of hard to see on this full kit shot, so let's switch to just a snare drum so we can see this more clearly. I'm going to put this mic on a slight angle and pointed at the spot in between the edge of the drum and the center. That usually works best, although you can go more to the edge if you want more ring or more to the center if you want less ring and more of the body of the drum. I usually dampen the snare head a bit to control the ring using an old broken head or zero ring. This angle is also helpful to keep the drummer from hitting a microphone. We'll wire this microphone up and plug it in to input 4 on our interface, which again is where our snare mic is set up in Reaper. And next, we'll do the toms, starting with the rack tom and then the floor tom. I usually keep the angle similar to the snare mic for the toms as well, and dampen them a bit with a paper towel and some tape, and plug them into inputs 5 and 6. And finally, for the drums, we have the overhead mics. I like to put these mics above the drums, which is why we call them overheads. One on the left side and the other on the right. I also try to point these towards the snare drum, while still capturing the overall drum kit. I'll even measure using a piece of rope to make sure each mic is the same distance from our snare drum. This way our stereo picture always has the snare in the middle. Then we'll plug those mics into input 7 and 8 respectively. And now with everything plugged in and set up correctly, we're ready to start getting drum sounds and levels. So let's do that in the next video. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 